What you're looking at is the before and after of a cutting edge volume compression technology that compresses VDB files so effectively that you can reduce your file size by over 97% without losing much of the original visual fidelity. Hi everyone, my name is Mai Ao. I'm the senior technical lead of SideFX Labs. Here to show you how to get started with the Zebra VDB for Houdini plugin, one of the latest additions to SideFX Labs. Zebra VDB itself is developed by Zebra AI featured on the stage of Seagraph 2024 Real-Time Live. It tackles the challenge of project size, storage cost, and real-time rendering for memory-intensive VFX pipelines, virtual production, and next-gen video games, wherever high-fidelity volumetric effects are needed. The compression is not lossless. In fact, there are subtle differences between left and right, but such differences are often imperceptible or so minuscule, especially compared to the massive storage reduction you're getting. Once your VDBs are compressed and cached from Houdini, you can render them in Houdini or bring them over to a game engine, decompress on the GPU extremely quickly, and render them as full 3D volumetric effects. To try out the latest alpha version of Zebra VDB for Houdini, you need at least Houdini Production Build 20.5.487 and Side Effects Labs 20.5.491. Once you have those installed, go to the help page of any of the lab's Zebra VDB nodes and follow the step-by-step -step instructions on the Getting Ready section. To follow the second half of the instructions, you need to open Houdini, drop down a Zebra VDB node in the geometry context. When everything is set up, head to the Examples link in the Help page and download the example sim file that we prepared for you. In this file, you can find three types of common use cases for Zebra VDB. Be sure to read the annotations as they contain useful information. Press 1 on your numpad inside your network view to jump to the first use case, the compression of static VDBs, such as clouds. Here I already cached the results. When you first open the file, you just need to press Save to Disk on the file cache node, and the rendering and reloading buttons on the Zebra VDB nodes. Press 2 to jump to the second use case, where you can compress animated VDB sequences, such as pyro simulations. This example also shows two ways of approaching caching power simulations. The pros and cons are detailed in the annotations. If your GPU struggles with displaying the volume at its full resolution in the viewport, you can press D in the viewport to open viewport settings. You can turn on limit resolution on the texture tab. Press 3 to jump to the third use case, where you can compress SDFs, typically used as collisions. This is currently a more experimental workflow we can achieve this by converting SDFs to fault VDBs, compress them, and restore them back to SDFs with some smoothing. Direct SDF compression is not supported at this moment. The plugin is still in alpha. The Zebra AI developers are working on improvements and upcoming features. If you get a chance to try out this workflow, we will greatly appreciate your feedback. And by the way, if you're curious how I recorded this video with a minimal Houdini UI, the shortcut is Ctrl Shift S.